Hello everyone and happy 24th of the month. It is officially March 24th and I cannot believe that we are in the midst of March Madness. So all the games that we've been able to watch on top of the NBA games. I know the WNBA season will be starting next month. So, so many amazing things that are going on. But in the midst of all that, I know that you guys have had a lot of time to read, right? Yeah, about that. Well, I missed last month and I am sad that I did because of course last month we got to read Barack Obama's book and if you have not picked it up yes it is a long book and I think he said that he's doing a sequel to this book but very very informative a lot of great information you know I think the, the coolest thing for me is I, I don't read a lot of memoirs and you know obviously I read Michelle Obama's and not reading his to go back and hear about some of the challenges that he had first as a child and then of course moving into every single uh, realm that he was a part of in his adult life and then of course being in the White House. And so a lot of the different things that he had to face and challenges that sometimes on the outside looking in, we question certain things and it was really cool just to be in his head. If you don't want to read and want to get the audio book, I have both. so I did a little bit back and forth and it was like I was literally sitting in a room having a conversation with the one and only Barack Obama. So check it out, Barack Obama, A Promised Land. That was the book from last month, February 24th, which now I gave you two months. So I gave you a lot of extra days to be able to get through and finish it. And then the book for this month, Recipe for Persuasion. And Oh my goodness. I read this book, literally I picked it up Friday after the SEC tournament. Started reading it when I got to the airport. I was finished with it by Sunday morning and I could not, I love books that you just cannot put it down. But Recipe for Persuasion, really good book. Uh, I love the journey that it took us through. So I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil the whole story, but there's a part in the book when I start thinking about just like things that have been passed down from whether it's our parents or our grandparents. For me in particular, I just think of like my mentality and even from the entrepreneurship standpoint, I did not understand maybe where I was a couple years ago when I brought Tease Me Cafe Indie, but my grandparents own a store called the Kitchen Superette when they lived in Jackson, Mississippi. So it was like way back when, one of the only African-American uh, stores that was available for, for us to go, for Blacks to go and be able to go shopping. So that was a long time ago. I remember as a young child going into it and uh, my grandma, my grandpa, just not to not know if I would have known now what I knew then, or what, let me go back. If I would have known now, then what I know now, I would have paid more attention and to the operations and to all the different things that they did in order to be successful. But Jackson State University ended up buying the land and buying the store for my, my grandparents and the rest is history. But this book was good. It, it's more of a story than it is like the actual facts or memoir or anything that we've read before. But I hope you will read it. I know you will enjoy it. I join our book club. We do a book club every month, the third Saturday of the month. And so I have been going along this journey of books, reading with the lady that have been a part of it. And it's fun to hear them talk about it. It's fun to join in the conversations with them as we go through the journey. So check this out. I know you will like it, Recipe for Persuasion. That was the book for March 24th. And then as we look at moving ahead, before I jump into the next book and the book for this month, we're gonna actually be doing two different books because the book club is doing Atomic Habits, which I read last year as part of one of my, my book vlogs that I did. So they're gonna read that one. Feel free to read it. I will not stop you from reading any books that you want to, but before I get to the book that I'm going to read, I have to do a shout out. We are expanding Tease Me Cafe and in, in Indianapolis. So I know everybody's like, oh, are you coming to? Nope, it will be in Indianapolis. Uh, it's gonna be Tease Me at Tease Me Community Cafe at Tarkington Park. 
which is located in Indianapolis on 39th and Illinois. It is in the middle of a park. The park is absolutely beautiful. So if you have kids or even if you don't, they got basketball court, tennis court, there's, I think you, there's a, a open space where you can just come put a blanket on the ground, you know, have a picnic, whatever the case may be two playgrounds, state-of-the-art playgrounds, so a lot of great things that are going on. But why are we going to this location? We are going to this location because A, it's in a park, B, the, the cafe part of it is, is awesome, so you'll have to come check it out. But for those of you that don't know, my sister and I, we have our own foundation called the Catch the Stars Foundation. We focus on boys and girls ages seven all the way up to 18, and we provide programming around fitness, literacy, and youth development. So this will give us the opportunity to be able to host some of our Catch the Stars events along with all of our Tease Me events. So we're gonna have a lot of great things that will still be going on at the 22nd Street location. So don't forget about the original location, but with the addition of this new location, it gives us more aptitude, it gives us more reach, it gives us more opportunity to continue to make an impact in uh, certain areas. So stay tuned. It will open officially April 1. We will do our grand opening officially April 24th. So a lot of cool things, but on April 3rd, which is the weekend of Final Four, we will actually be doing attorney time at Tarkington. And that will be from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. We're gonna have a basketball clinic. We'll have a lot of activation that will be outside on the Tarkington Park ground. So everything will be outdoors, except for obviously you can come in and get you some tea from Tease Me Tarkington. So we are looking forward to welcoming you there and I can't wait to see you and have you in the house. So, all right, now let's fast forward a little bit. A few things that are coming up in April, WNBA training camp will officially kick off. Our season will start May 14th. Where we will start having games again here in market. So I cannot wait. It has been a long time coming. And I can't wait to see our fans back in the stands. So we'll see you soon. We'll see you there. And for the book of this month, this was recommended. We had a guest speaker come and chat with us for our Tease Me uh, staff meeting, or we have our team training once a month, and our guest speaker, John Kobe. if you have never heard of him, look him up, John, J-O-N, Kobe, C-O-L-B-Y, johnkobe.com. He came in and did, we had, we had just so much fun, he came in and took us through some exercises, but one of the exercises, and as we were talking, he recommended a book, The Happiness Advantage, how a positive brain fuels success and work in life by Sean Aker. So we are going to read this book for this month, March, April, and April 24th, we'll come back and we'll chat about it. I've kind of skimmed through the pages. I just got it from Amazon, so I'm excited to dive in. And I am glad to be on this journey with you. So check it out, order it from Amazon. It literally came like two, three days later. I'm excited to jump in it and doesn't need a little happiness in their life. It's all about the smile. It's all about positivity. I hope you guys know I am a pretty positive person, so this is right up my alley. All right, we'll see you next month. Enjoy the month, final four. I don't know how your brackets have been. I know my men's bracket is, well, I'm not gonna win any awards. I know that for sure. Women's bracket, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit more on target on that side. So stay tuned. Go Fever, go Pacers, Final Four, whoever wins, congratulations. And we will see you guys next month on April 24th. God bless.